Because there's not many times when you're at Ohio State, you win so often. There's probably not many times when you have that feeling, right? Yeah. Coming off the field. So, so there is something in that feeling that is part of your growth process, I guess. Okay. Yes. Okay. I guess some teams have that more often than others, right? But you guys just don't have it very much. Yeah. Um, when you look at the Washington defense, is there something? We know what you guys did against Michigan, for instance, but we also know Washington is a very respected defense. When you break them down, is there anything that's similar at all to a defense like Michigan, or what is it that Washington does well? Washington, you know, they're really good with their D linemen and their linebackers. You know, their D linemen, I would say, are really good. And especially uh, their linebacker, Ben, I can't pronounce his last name, but. Oh, right, Ben Berkerbin, right? Yeah, number 25. He is a, you know, absolute beast. He's a great player. And, you know, I look forward to playing against him because, you know, whenever you get a guy like that, you just you kind of get up for it. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, Michael. No problem. You know, as this season turned out the way you thought it would from at the beginning when you started to make the transition to the center? You know, I have my ups and downs this year at center, but uh, it did turn out, I uh, wouldn't say to what I wanted, but I am satisfied with it. Are you, I mean, what was the biggest thing you learned as far as a leadership standpoint, knowing how important your role is in that line? Um, the biggest thing I learned is, you know, how to bring up the young guys because, you know, like, whether it's this year or next year, I'm going to leave and there's going to be someone that has to play in my position. And if they're not ready to play, or they're not going to hold that standard, then I haven't done my job as a leader in the offensive line. How have you grown that role with, with the way this season played out? So you guys as a team went through a lot of weird times. So like, how, how, have you, how have you developed that role? Um, I think I developed that role um, in a way by leading by example. Leading by example. And, uh, you know, center behind me, Josh Myers is going to be a great center. You know, over the beginning of the season, I wasn't really sure if he was ready yet. But then as the season went on and on, I found out you know, he's, he's going to be a great center for Ohio State. And he's just going to be just as good or, or better than me. I'm pretty sure he's going to be better than me. Is there, you know, as the defensive line went through losing Nick and Draymond yesterday said that he had to become more vocal and more of a, a vocal leader as opposed to just lead by example. Do you guys have that leader, that vocal leader on offense and you use it again? It's mostly been Isaiah Prince. You know, he's a vocal leader, Paris Campbell, Terry McLaurin, and uh, Johnny Mason. Guard. Yes. So, when you play center, there's less space between you and the defensive lineman. He's right there. Guard, I feel like I can run off the ball and I can get off and I can really accelerate. And I have, um, I think I have a lot more knockdowns at guard, and that's always fun. 